Isabel is feisty, you know, she's young and she's passionate and she was born into the royal family, she didn't choose the life that comes with it, so she wants to prove herself as a future queen and have her own experiences before she takes on that responsibility, you know, she doesn't just want to, to exist, she wants to prove it, so... Jack's a bit of a dreamer. He's um, a young farm boy with a great imagination, um, who's morally very sound and good, um, and and caring. But has been told he's useless pretty much most of his life growing up. Uh, so wants to get out on an, out on an adventure and, and um, experience life. And then comes across this charming young princess and kind of gets uh, gets caught up with that. He's amazing. I mean, he's such a passionate man. He's got an, an incredible vision, and he's. He's great at kind of sharing that with you, you know, when someone is that kind of inspired, it's, it's amazing to kind of, you really feel that and it, it gives you hope and it, it makes you trust them so that you know that you're in good hands. Yeah, he's, he's got a phenomenal understanding of film and storytelling um, and can really break down exactly what's going to work and can bring so many different elements together, particularly for a film like this with so many visual effects and, and things that aren't there and the timing and what we were doing. Um, he can he can really uh, picture it all in his head and bring it all together and, and still keep it very grounded in a, in, a, in, a, in a great story with characters that you care about. It's it's amazing. I mean, I just had the the best time working on this. I mean, it was such an experience, a roller coaster from day one, and you know, working with such a fantastic team. It's not just any Tom, Dick, and Harry or Roger or you know, it's it's. Head, it's led by Brian Singer, and it's you know it's it's really, really fantastic. We're fortunate to have a great cast around us and and, and crew and, and everyone, um, just made it very easy for us, um, and great sets to work on and everything. It was um, a real treat. That's uh, that's a lot of trust in other people. It's it's you know them them telling you where things will be on the screen and what those things will be doing, and um, and then and then you just trusting. Mm. Um, and luckily with this film, what it has ended up on the screen that you then see is, is phenomenal and, and, and works terrifically. Yeah, absolutely. I can't believe that it's me when I watch it. I'm just like, wow, you know, there's there's an enormous amount of pride at the the movie that we've we've all achieved together. You know, we became a, a real team and I think that we have we have something that's really cool and hopefully will be a great film that will be part of a family's life, you know, either for young kids or, or adults. There is something in it for everyone. I was I was pretty stunned, you know. There's a there's a lot of stuff that's not there on the day, so to see all that come together, um, I was amazed by that and, and very proud of everyone's hard work that went into it. Wow. Well, being able to get stuck into anything like that is fantastic. You know, we did a lot of training for the role, so we, we wanted to be able to do our own stunts to do justice to our characters because that's, that's part of the twist, particularly for Isabel, is that she is feisty and she's, she is searching for adventure, so she throws herself at everything. So I loved all of the action. I mean, obviously, interacting with giants and being put in the harnesses so it made it look like the giant had a hold of you was, was incredible. And then you're turned upside down and thrown around. I remember my mum came to set and she was literally like, oh, what are you doing to my daughter? You know, so it was, um, yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah, I love doing all that stuff, and particularly I enjoy watching these films, so um, to be able to be on set and kind of get involved doing all that is, um, is a real treat. And there's, um, I think that my favourite action sequence is kind of towards the end of the film with the, the giants um, managed to get from their island in the sky back down to, to Earth and, um, and attack Cloister, the, the, the imaginary city in, in, the, in the story. And, uh, and they're throwing burning trees at the humans and they're yeah. really going to work on us and it's a, it's a great action sequence, it's a great final battle. I think the, the beanstalk climb was tricky for me. We, we, were, we were stuck up, you know, real pieces of beanstalk, well, real, I mean, made for the film, but they were, they were physically there and, and, and it was, you know, a lot of climbing and being battered by wind and rain and not being able to hear anything. Um, so that was quite disorienting, but um, mm. that was tricky. How about you? I found the scene at the beginning in Jack's house really challenging because even the dialogue in that scene as well, kind of creating that relationship between Jack and Isabel that is so crucial to the movie and you only have one scene to do it in because in the next minute she's taken up the beanstalk. So kind of creating a chemistry between the two of them that was believable that he would then climb this beanstalk to rescue her was, was a challenge. And then also when the beanstalk erupts through the floor, that making that kind of look realistic was, was, was difficult. So There's, there's humour in it. Um, there's a lot of action and, and, and tension. There's, um, there's also, you know, there's romance between our two characters. Um, but there's also, you know, a great message for kids whereby is that thing of, even though our two characters come from def very different social classes, there's, um, there's a thing whereby you can kind of create what you want of your life 
um, and get out there and, and have a good adventure. Yeah, I think I think it's always nice when you can go and see a movie with your family and see how it inspires like your young kids and even the adults. There's something kind of fun that takes them back to their childhood, and it's that imagining thing, you know. Because obviously, reading fairy tales at night is not. I hope it's not a dying breed by any means. But now with you know TV, film, iPads, whatever, there is something in a child's imagination that is that is crucial to their growing up. So.